Jay Kraft, owner of Aqualock. I've known this guy for a long time, does a great job. I've um, been impressed with his work. He's actually done work for me and many of our clients. Charlie is writing in with a problem, and he's got a ceiling leak and is wondering, does Aqualock work on ceilings as well? And we know basements. Does Aqualock work on ceilings? Does that uh, no, nope. we don't work on ceilings, but I would be more concerned with if the ceiling is leaking mm-hmm. through the roof, clearly, um, I would be very concerned about any type of mold buildup that may be in the attic above that ceiling area, uh, because something like that left undetected, um, especially when an attic can get real hot and real cold with those volatile temperatures can really create kind of a mess uh, because we do mold remediation and we've gone in to attics where nobody's been in that attic for 10, 15 years and and found bumper crops of microbial activity. Jay, how quickly, and I think I know, and we've talked about this, but it's, it serves purpose to restate from the time water leaks into a home, how quickly can mold start to form? 24 to 48 hours. Oh, really? I thought it was three days. So if the conditions are right, yeah, it can be 24 to 48 hours. That's shocking. And what what's the prevention? I mean, obviously, you, you try to stop the water source, but... Well, that's the number one is a mold remediator. You know yeah. what? We have to find the source to, to turn that off because doing remediation and not stopping the water, you know, we're just, we're starting right back over. So you, you first start with where is it coming from? And in Charlie's situation, you know, we're going to root around in the attic and, and find out where this is coming from. Because when you're dealing with joists and trusses, that water could be coming in one place, running down a, uh, a truss and then, and then, you know, dropping through the ceiling in a completely different area than where the leak is. And so just to put a period at the end of this question, so what does not all mold is bad or, or is deadly, but there is bad mold. What does that look like? It, so that our listeners can envision if they're walking around the inside or outside and they see what might be mold, of course, the stuff that's on the side of uh, vinyl siding on a shady area, that's not dangerous, right? Help me out on this. Well, you're, 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 no, your answer, you're, you're, you're correct on that. It's not going to be a dangerous situation. The problem is, is that each one of us has a different tolerance for anything in the air. Um, you're different than I am different than Greg is different than Leah different than Rocky's different. Yeah. So one of you could sneeze being in Charlie's house and the rest of us could be fine and, and, and the mold just be a real minor issue. That's the, that's the tricky part about mold and, and it needs to be addressed as quickly as possible yeah. so that you don't run into that problem. 